to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to share with you a delicious green enchilada sauce recipe, perfect for your next enchilada night. This sauce comes out super creamy and delicious without having to add any dairy. So if you would like to see how I prepare this delicious enchilada sauce, continue watching this video, join me in my kitchen, and let's get started. We're gonna start out by lining a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. Add two chile poblanos, three Anaheim peppers, six to eight tomatillos, and three jalapenos. If you want the extra heat in your sauce, substitute the jalapenos for serranos. Now we're gonna broil them on high for 15 to 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, flip your peppers and your tomatillos so the other side can cook and blister and continue cooking for an additional 10 more minutes. And while we're waiting for our peppers, we're gonna prepare the chicken for the enchiladas. In the medium stock pot, we're gonna add eight to 10 cups of water, four bone-in chicken thighs. You can also use the chicken breast, but I like to use the bone-in chicken thighs because it gives you the best broth. And we are gonna be using some of the broth for the sauce. Half a medium-sized onion, half a tablespoon of salt, and we're gonna place it on the burner and boil it on medium-high heat for 25 to 30 minutes. Remove the peppers and the tomatillos from the oven, and once they're cool enough to handle, remove the skin from the peppers, including the jalapenos. Remove the seeds and the vines from the chile poblanos and the Anaheim peppers. You can also remove the seeds from the jalapenos, but I'm gonna leave them in there to give my sauce that extra heat. Transfer them to the blender, including three garlic cloves and two cups of the chicken broth. Blend on high for a good minute or until you have a nice creamy sauce. Transfer the sauce to a small saucepan over low medium heat and add one cup of the chicken broth to the blender to get the remainder of the sauce. We don't want any of that sauce going to waste. We're going to shake it around a little bit. Pour it into the saucepan with the sauce, and for seasonings, we're going to add half a teaspoon of cumin and two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Give it a good mix to get those seasonings well integrated with the sauce. Simmer on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes, and then it's ready to use with your favorite enchilada recipes. Once your chicken has completely cooled down, remove it from the stock pot and shred it into small pieces. Before we start making the enchiladas, I'm gonna add a few spoonfuls of the sauce onto the shredded chicken. We're gonna give it a good mix, and we're also gonna add one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese to the chicken. You can use whichever melting cheese you prefer. You can also use queso cotija. Now we're gonna give it a good mix, and now we're ready to prepare some enchiladas. In a medium pan, we're gonna heat up a good amount of vegetable or olive oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna lightly fry each tortilla on each side. I'm using the blue corn tortillas because these are the last ones that I had in the fridge, but you can also use yellow corn or white corn tortillas. Once your tortilla is lightly fried, remove it and place it on a separate plate. Continue frying a few more tortillas until you have a good amount ready. You don't want to over fry them, make sure you fry them for a few seconds on each side. You want them to be nice and soft and pliable so they can fold easily. 